few days ago, my trusty Roland Cube 40 just stopped working. I've been doing quite a few sub-zero temperature outside gigs recently, and I don't think that helped. It's also seen one or two raindrops in its time. So, bless its heart, it packed up. But I went online and you can't get them anymore. It says discontinued. Oh no! But there was this, the Boss Katana, which popped up in the same window. And, oh, what's that then? And I do know about them. I've uh, had a few pupils who've got them, but I just took a punt and went click and buy. Now for 200 pounds, I've got a 50 watt amp. This is the smallest in the range, single fifth, uh, 12 inch speaker with 50 watts of power. And it sounds lovely. <laughs> Let's take a look at what else it can do. So at the moment we have a conventional amplifier panel that you can see on the other display. You can also see on the computer the same display but in digital form, yeah. This has got a USB on the back which allows you not only to tweak settings and to load things which you can't get on the main panel, but it also allows you to record directly from this to any digital audio workstation. So while I've got a mic in front of this for the purposes of this demonstration, you can actually go straight in and it does all the amp simulation and the speaker simulation for you. And that sounds great as well. Now, if we look on the computer panel here, I can tweak any of the any of these settings and indeed if I move a setting on here it appears on the computer so there's my treble going up and down. Now you've got effects which you can actually assign at the moment it comes with a you know a series of effects so for example the booster on here is the blues driver which I've got in my pedal board. <laughs> That sounds warm as anything. There's not a valve in sight. There's lots and lots and lots of zeros and ones being bounced around the circuitry of this thing. There is no valves, no analog stuff, nothing. It's all digital and it's really good. Now, if I just switch that booster off now, next up is the modulation. So we got a chorus. <laughs> On the top panel, you can actually press the modulation for, to get the phaser. And the actual modulation itself it varies the speed of that modulation. If I press it again, I get a flanger. And these sound as good as the boss pedals that they're actually emulating as well. Now I can change them on here. I can just decide to maybe have a univibe instead. So if I go back to here. Pretty impressive. Now, if you have an expression pedal connected, there's actually a lots of assignments that you can do to actually make this work. I'm not gonna go through that now because actually it's really complicated, but you get the hang of it and also, Really, things here are just designed just to make sure that when you go out gigging, you've got your Univibe. So, of course, if you want all the settings, you're gonna to have to take a computer with you as well, but that's not really the point of this. You load up your sounds and you go out and play. So, um, other things, we've got effects. This one. Nice sounding tremolo and the speed of that. Some delay. You can have an analog uh, delay as well, which is which is what it's actually set to at the moment. But you can have you know reverse. You can do anything. Of course, this has to be edited at the time. You can't go out and then think, oh, what, I want to reverse delay. <laughs> nice too. Now on the amplifier itself there is one control that you don't get on here and that is the power rating level. At the moment we're on the maximum power of 50 watts which is on the right here. Set it to 25 watts it's just 
reduces the power and there's a half a watt setting basically meaning that you can sort of just turn the volume up and get that sort of cranked if i just turn that down here the volume right up here just sounds like an amplifier that's working a bit more there's also a standby control which is really handy so if you just finish your first set and go go to the bar and come back all of your settings will be as you left them whereas if you switch it off and switch it back on again you have to sort of press some buttons to get it to work so that standby feature is really useful i mean i've got used to just lifting the jack out of the amplifier but it's kind of the same thing so with that we have really a very 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 neat box of tricks and it doesn't weigh very much either it's only slightly more than the cube that it replaced and it draws about 50 watts from the mains so it's pretty good for busking as well i've used it with my little battery uh, battery pack now if i just look on here you can actually you, this well you can set anything you can set absolutely anything and really if you download this software essentially the number of permutations and combinations that you can have is almost infinite now if i just go to the system setting uh, you can actually tweak the global eq of the amp as a whole so something that is built in now i do lots of jazz gigs so actually it'd be nice to have something that's a little bit sort of bassier and boomier <laughs> you can do what you like you can even get the boss uh, ge10 graphic equalizer pedal i mean you know the possibilities are simply endless and for 200 pounds this amplifier represents incredible value for money just looking at the um, other amp types before we go you can get a sort of proper you know lead and crunch sounds <laughs> Now, rather than describe what each one of them does, just get yourself one and tweak the sound that you want, because actually, it's really good.